Hi, this video is about leading digit approximation. We are going to be given a multiplication that we are going to be estimating the answer to first before getting the exact answer. Estimating your answer is a good technique so that you can self-check if your final answer is close to the one you first estimated. There is a real technique here, so let's see exactly what leading digit approximation is. So what it is, is rounding a number to its largest place value before completing any operation. Let's have a look at 29 times 11. This question would normally take a long time to do, except what we're going to do is we're going to round these numbers first and then get an estimation about what our answer should be. So I'm going to take 29 and I'm going to round it off to the nearest 10. That gives me 30. I'm going to do the same thing to 11. I'm going to round it off to the nearest 10 and that's going to give me 10. 30 times 10 is a lot easier to do than 29 times 11. It's not going to give me my exact answer, but it is going to give me a good estimation about what my final answer should be. 30 times 10, that's 300. The exact answer is 319. So when I complete my answer, it's good to know that, my, that it should have been roughly around 300, which it is. Let's take a look at 486 times 17. This one would normally require an algorithm or a calculator. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to round off each of these numbers to the nearest, sorry, to the largest place value, and then I'm going to get an estimate. So 486, I'm going to round that off to the nearest 100. So the, a number after the 100 is an 8. That means I'm going to round up. So the 486 to the nearest 100 is 500. Now I'm going to round 17. This goes to the nearest 10, which is 20. 500 times 20 is a lot easier to do than 486 times 17. Again, it's not going to give me the exact answer, but it is going to give me a general idea. Now, I have three zeros there, so those three zeros are going to go on the end of my number, and 5 times 2 is 10. So my answer is going to be a 10 with three zeros after it, which is 10,000. Now, the exact answer is going to be less than that because we've rounded up both numbers. The exact answer is 8,262. It is still close to 10,000, so it was a pretty good estimate, but I know that if I did my final answer and I got something way off that, like something in the hundreds, or something in the hundreds of thousands, then that would have been wrong. So it's good to estimate first. Finally, let's look at 42 times 7. Again, I'm going to round 42 to the nearest 10. That gives me 40. And 7 to the nearest unit. Now, the nearest unit is still 7, so I'm going to do 40 times 7. Again, this is a lot easier than 42 times 7. So 4 times 7 is 28, and then the 0 from the 40 needs to go on the end. So my final answer is 280, the exact answer being 294. Time to summarize. It's a good idea to write down these notes, get the examples down, including all the working out, and then you can try and use those when you have your own independent practice. And that's it. Estimating by leading digit approximation is a really good technique to get into, so learn how to use it and use it as often as you possibly can. Good luck.